Hi there. In this video, I'll show you how to easily create a personality quiz that brings great results. Personality quizzes are used for many different things, boosting engagement, gathering qualified leads, driving social traffic, recommending a product, and more. With the pitting stage, you can either create a personality quiz from scratch or from a template. In this video, we'll create a personality quiz from a template, but if you want to do it from scratch, you can always go to the Create New and select Personality Quiz and get a clear form. Let's take a look first at a few templates before creating one. Uh, this is an example of a classic personality quiz. What type of exercise is the best for me? I'm going to answer a few questions. Like you can see, it's very visual, very engaging, appealing. And based on the answers to the questions, I'll get a result. I can share in social networks. Personality quizzes are uh, very good for getting social traffic. And I can also look for a gym. This is the call to action button. Let's take a look at another example. In this case, it's for gathering leads. So the question is, where should I travel next? I'm going to answer a few questions. And then just before I see the results, I'll be presented with a lead form. You can edit the fields, which fields you want here. In this case, it's a name and email. You can make it mandatory or allow users to skip. I'm going to just uh, write something here. And there you go. In this case, recommend Peru. Start planning your trip. Let's take it one more example. One to buy my dad. What should I buy for my dad for Father's Day? This is a product recommendation example. And so again, we'll be asked a few questions about my dad. And then based on the answers, uh, you'll get a recommendation. In this case, buy him a Kindle, click to buy. OK, so uh, what we did now is saw a few examples. Now, let's say I like this template. This is a BuzzFeed style personality quiz template. And I kind of scroll through it and I say, oh, I like it. So what you can do is you can click Use Template. What that will do is we'll copy the template to your from the template library to your items. You can make whatever changes you want. Let's make just one change for the sake um, of this tutorial. Let's say I want to replace the image. Uh, I have a lot of options how to change them. I'm going to search for something that is free to use. I'm looking for food because the question is, what type of foodie are you? I'm going to select this one, upload it. I can crop it. And after I do that, I can publish the quiz. After I publish, I can also take a look and uh, preview it to see that I like it. And that's the image I changed. OK. Now what I want to do is want to kind of go over all the sections of the personality quiz. So the first one is the cover, what we looked at now. There's a title, there's a description, and then there's an image or a video that you can put here. The next step is to set the results the results that the user can see at the end of the quiz. So in this case, there is one, two, three, four results, um, different types of foodies. Let's take a look at the one, the last one, a green eater. This may be a result that the user gets based on his answers. So again, you can configure the title of the results, the image, the description. You can add a call to action that we saw before. And you can also redirect to a landing page based on the results that the user got. You can also display multiple results, like I'm 42 this, percent this and 32% that, and so on. OK, so we set the four results. Now let's go to the questions. Now, over here, you can see I, I think there is about 10 questions. We can kind of take a really quickly scroll over them, and then we'll focus on the last one. So let's say we look at this one. Um, the question is, find a dessert. What's your favorite dessert? And then based on the answer, you can associate it one or more of the results. How do you do that? These are the four results we configured previously. Now, based on the answer, if he answers this, you can give zero to four points to each one of them. In this case, I say, oh, if he answers that, he's not at all a true gourmet. He's very much a comfort easer, so I'll give him four points. He's a little bit of a free spirit, so we'll put two, and not so much a green eater. So that's how you add points. And as I mentioned before, at the end of the quiz, the result that got the most points is the one that will be displayed. So that's how you configure a basic personality quiz. Now let's take a look at a, lot, a few additional features. So leads, we saw before an example of showing a lead form. You can either create a new one or use an existing one and then edit it. Um, let's take a look at that. You can edit the fields over here. 
and preview them to see that you like it. Another feature uh, worth mentioning is skip logic. Skip logic allows you to jump to different questions based on the answer to a previous one. So, for example, um, you could ask a question like, um, are you a man or a woman? If it's a man, you won't ask a question that is relevant to a woman and you will just skip that question. Now let's take a look a little bit on, on our different settings. There's a few settings here which are quite self-explanatory, but let's go to the other settings over here on the side. You can select the language of the quiz, um, the design. Um, so we have a lot of pre-configured uh, um, themes to select from. You can select your own font all the way up to CSS Override, which lets you do practically anything. We have a tutorial that explains how you do that, and it can really match perfectly your uh, brand um, and site. We also have some social settings. You can preview the image shared in social, um, display Facebook comments, add a message to the Facebook sharing, customize Twitter integration. Um, and then uh, other things we can do is integrations. We can integrate with your marketing automation so that we automatically send the submissions to your email marketing or if you're gathering emails or to any other uh, marketing automation that you use, you can integrate an ad inside and you can also use pixel tracking if you want to optimize ad campaigns for the quiz. So that's how you create a quiz. Let's say we're happy with the quiz. Now we want to add it to our site uh, or send it to our user. So we click and then share. And here you can either add it to your site using the script code, the iframe code. We have detailed tutorials for each one of CMS if you're using WordPress or other. If you're using WordPress, actually, we also have a plugin that you can use, which is recommended. Now, most of our users take the quiz and put it on their sites. But if you want, you can also share the link. Uh, all you do is uh, click copy here uh, and share it. Um, and that will send them to a landing page, which will be uh, white labeled and you can even add your own logo here and you can send your users to this site if you prefer not putting uh, the quiz on your site or in case you don't have a site. The last thing I wanted to take a look at is the results. So after the people completed and participated in your quiz, you'll see this result section. You can see how many people viewed your quiz, how many started, how many completed, the average time they spent on your quiz. If you have leads, you'll see how many leads you gathered, CTA button, how many clicked in on it. You can see the results of the different questions over here. You can see a detailed response report. You'll see a lead report as well if you have leads, a drop-off report, which means where are people dropping off of my quiz, helps optimize your quiz, and an outcome report, which shows you how many people got each one of the results. As uh, I mentioned, you can automatically send the results, but you can also to your marketing automation, but you can also export them uh, locally uh, if you want to a CSV or XLS file. As you can see, creating personality quizzes with opinion stage is super easy and fast. You can literally create a great looking and top performing quiz in minutes. Thanks for watching this video and enjoy creating your quizzes.